Hey there YouTube, so today I'm going to show you what the fingerprint sensor on any phone can do besides for the basic unlocking. So let's begin. So the first thing that it can do is it can, you can take the fingerprint sensor and you can unlock your phone. You can use the phone to take, you can use the fingerprint sensor to take a picture. I know that's what I've been doing. Like, I, it makes it easier when you go like this instead of having to go and the phone shakes a little bit. So I mean, it goes a little bit more so I can tell you what it does is As because really all you have to do is just slide your finger up a little bit so that it goes like this like as you're holding the phone if you're holding it steady all you have to do is hold it steady on this one it's a little more awkward but you hold it steady And it doesn't shake, it registers your fingerprint, and you really get to be able to take a picture using your fingerprint. And it comes out clearer than just tapping the button on the screen to be able to, um, to, be able to take a picture, because it doesn't shake as much. You can log into any mobile bank account. So there are a bunch of other multiple banks that do it. There's Chase, there's Bank of America, there's all these other things. So right here, I'm just going to pull up Bank of America. So, look what it says here to learn how to... It says over here, fingerprint sign in BOA, Bank of America. Sign in with online ID. So you go like this, it shows green. I'm not going to sign in more than that. But then it just signs in with your fingerprint. The next uh, thing I have here is an app called App Blocker. And what that does is you open it up and I uh, don't know what just happened. You can open it up once I find it. You open it up and this pops up. So it says draw an unlock pattern. So right now I can't use my fingerprint so I'm just going to draw a basic unlock pattern. I'm going to draw it again. I'm going to save my email address that's already used it before. So the newest one supports fingerprint and new unlock page. So, so you go over to the protect tab and then this pops up. So it says unlock settings, security settings, you fingerprint unlock. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to have to turn on permiss permiss uh, permission usage. Go out of this. Now the settings are locked, so when I go up here and I press the settings there, it asks me for a password and on top it shows the fingerprint logo, so I'm going to press it with... The next thing I figured out a while after I had the phone, I figured out some of the stuff I could do. One of the things was going into the Play Store and going into the settings tab there is an option over here fingerprint authentication for google play purchases on this device so what i can do is i can tap the fingerprint sensor and it'll pay for something google play purchases blah 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 so gonna find an app that costs money okay so i'm gonna go over here just go to uh, top charts, top paid, Minecraft, whatever, I'm going to click it and accept. But then it's going to ask me to pay. So when I do it, eventually it'll ask me for a password. And then I just press this button, press the fingerprint sensor, and it does it. So that wraps it up for me. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and give it a good thumbs up. And thank you.